Yo, welcome to a new vlog. Okay, yo, my face feels so dry because I have on the one size turn up the base foundation, which is full coverage and matte, but I know my face looks good. I know it is sitting, it just feels dry. I should have, oh, I didn't bring any setting spray. I should have sprayed it, but I was running out of the house. Good Lord. Anyway, you saw me getting ready because Jolanda is in town today. She's already here. She's coming in town this weekend. It was so spontaneous. She just texted me and I didn't think she was very serious. And suddenly she's here, which is great. I'm excited. So I was getting ready for her. The bed is ready. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it was so last minute. You know me, I like to be ready. So, you know, it's a little one to one to that needs to be done, but we are ready. And I know I'm not sure if I told you, but I've been washing the covers on the couch. So I'm still in the process of doing that. There's some, oh, I need to clean this dash. Why is it looking like, I just cleaned this the other day. It just gets so dusty. Do you know what dust consists of? <laughs> Fabric, dead skin. You feel me? So when you realize what dust is, it'll take time. All right, I'm almost at the braider's house because I'm getting my hair braided. I was gonna do another hair salon appointment, but that didn't work out. And I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I have my hair braided anyway. So let's go ahead and do this as something different to the rotation, you feel me? And I can't stand long hair appointments anyway, even though the quick weeks be taking a long time. I can't stand it. So I'm doing cornrow because it's quick. It's two hours, maybe two hours, 10 minutes. I can't remember, but it's two hours and I love the whole thing. So I'm gonna go do that. And then Jolanda and I, we're gonna do a perfume making class. I wanted to do a candle making class, but if we do the candle making class, you gotta go back two days later to get the candle because it has to sit and do something, <laughs> whatever they call it. I don't got time to be doing all of that. So we're gonna go ahead and do the perfume making. And I was so busy this morning. I had so many, <laughs> I had two, three, two, one campaign due, 
two campaigns to make small edits on but even though it was small edits it took me quite some time to do it in addition to getting ready cleaning up organizing because I'm just always cleaning if you're type A or B or C let me know I'm type A I just always thrive on love living in organization and cleanliness so I'm always doing that but of course I had to get the guest room and the guest bathroom together so that just added extra work for me to do in addition to what I already do all the time which is clean because I like things to be clean and organized and neat it just makes me happy I can't stand foolishness so I washed oh yesterday I took out my hair and then at night I undid the braids and then this morning while I'm yo amidst all of this had to wash my hair and then blow dry it quickly thank god I, I have the t3 blow dryer because it's fast so that helped me and uh, girl I hope she has some oil for my scalp because I did not moisturize my hair the way I would like for it to be done but yeah I had to do that too man it's just I had a lot to do this is crazy and then I did my nails all over again because that was due you know there's a lot going on today there's a lot going on today I was like dang I have a lot of things going on a lot, a lot of things to do in a short period of time but I made it I made do and I'm here I'm gonna arrive two minutes before my appointment time which is great timing and I'm just excited about it I'm drowsy I'd like to be asleep right now but that's not gonna happen oh yeah yeah so my hair it's underneath this headband wig because I needed to look decent did my makeup obviously so that it's done when my braids are done that I'm good to go I brought my topic hair fella for my hairline if it's looking a little suspect you feel me and after the perfume making class I don't know what we're gonna do per se maybe somewhere for live music you know I don't be in the city I don't be in the city so I told her you know we go on one two one two and finagle it. she's so funny because I'm like on travel day you know you want to relax and she's like oh no no I'm ready to think I'm running I'm like really I like to think that most people want to just chill on travel day but she's like oh no girl I'll be ready I'm like oh okay because she got up at six and you know her father's at six and one whatever so she ready so she ready so here we are I wish I had a set and spray because my face is still on stuff this one size i'm telling you right now you have oily skin you like a matte face this is for you get it now get it get it get it Ooh. why did two what where's the line in the middle of the road i can't do it okay so let's go do our hair oh and i wanted to get highlight hair colors but i didn't have time for all that so i'm just doing color what 1b i think it is and i didn't even have time to dye my hair that's how crazy it's been i hadn't had time to dye my hair so again for the topic you know what i'm saying we're gonna do some topic wherever the whites are and good thing is i'm not washing my hair so it'll stay and you know just the hairline will be a little touch up every now and then yo i got pulled over some months ago from <laughs> i stopped at the stop sign but i stopped too too over the line you know what i mean you know my english so i got pulled over and i'm like i stopped what's the issue i didn't see like that though because i was trying to be nice because i wanted grace and the cop is like you did stop i'll give you that but you were in you were in the walkway i'm like what <laughs> so now it's good when you get warnings because if you heed to them you do better the next time now i make sure my car comes to a full stop at every stop sign because that thing just shook me i don't get tickets so being pulled over just had me so like yoked up i was like ah crazy okay let's go do our hair well you had me from the start by the way you stared the way you wrote it for me yeah yeah Okay, so this is the hair. She said two packs, so hopefully it's gonna be. Is this the right one? I don't even know. Oh god. But something went wrong. The signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Yo, so my hair is done. Can you see? Ooh, look, I put my head down when she was getting to the back. But it's still not enough because I still feel like I'm, there's a belt pulling me or, or elastic pulling my head back. And look at my headband wig in the back. I underestimated how long this would take. I thought it was going to be two hours. The last time I had my hair braided, I could have sworn we finished in two hours. I might not have done the middle. Damn, I think that's what messed us up because this took three and a half hours. So last time when I did two hours, I may have just done the stitch braids, but not the line in the middle. The thin one, the skinny one. Anyway, now I learned my lesson. Next time, I'm going to not do the skinny one because that's what I think made me take long either way it goes I'm running late to perfume making but Jelana's already there so I told her to save me a spot and you know they can get started I'm sure they're gonna start off with the history behind perfume and whatever the hell so it's all good and I mean I'm not the, the good thing is that I'm in Houston and I am I was 17 minutes away and now I'm 10 minutes away and that's with traffic so the, I'm close which is nice because what the hell it is rush hour girl my neck is all 
tight up. <laughs> my neck is all tight up, and I feel like my face is even tight up. My dear is here. My face is giving tight up, but here we are. I like it. I'm glad. I don't have to do my hair for a while. Today's Friday, and I'm gonna take. Where am I going? Oh, that was on the wrong side. I had to look at the girl. I had to look at the, the freaking map. I'm not gonna have to do my hair until Wednesday, right? I have a hair appointment on Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So five days. It'll be fresh. You know, I like fresh stuff. Okay, let's get there. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days okay. in a darker mind. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. So when it comes to notes, this is just the particular smell that you're picking up on. And there are a couple of ways that we can get those notes. The first one being naturals. So these are our essential oils, which are fragrances that are extracted from a natural ingredient by a distillation process. There are also absolutes, which are extracted um, from a natural ingredient using a solvent. Now our absolutes are oftentimes much stronger and mimic the fragrance of that natural ingredient more closely than our essential oils, okay? Since these are natural, they come from nature, we don't really have much um, like give for the variation in like the molecular structure of these notes, and this will come into play later. But oftentimes these essential oils, these absolutes, um, have a large variety of molecules that construct this note that we're picking up on. So then we also have synthetics. Now synthetics are man-made chemicals. They're typically a singular, singular molecule that can mimic the note of a something that we can smell in our everyday lives. And there are a couple of reasons why people will use synthetics for their fragrances. Um, it may be because there is a note that we want in our fragrance that we cannot extract from a natural ingredient. Uh, surprisingly, apple is one of those. We cannot extract fragrance oil from an apple. Um, another one is smoke. You guys know very well, it would be very hard to extract fragrance from smoke. And then sometimes it's just more cost effective. Um, so one that is notable is an aquatic note. Um, surprisingly, this is something that you can get from a natural ingredient. Um, oftentimes, aquatic notes are extracted from an ingredient called ambergris, which is produced by whales. Um, it can get pretty pricey, upwards of $27 a gram. And we know that whales are producing things in much larger quantities than grams. And so when you buy it in its mass, it can get upwards of tens of thousands of dollars. And a lot of perfume houses do not want to spend that much money on one note in a fragrance that can be an accumulation of almost 100 notes. So what they do instead is they can use an aroma chemical um, to mimic that fragrance, okay? Now, most fine fragrances have a mix of synthetics and naturals. It's a misconception that naturals are better for you and better for the environment than a synthetic, but really it's just on a case-by-case -case basis, okay? And so when we put all of our notes together, then we get an accord. Uh, the terminology in perfumery often mimics what you see in musicology. So just like with music, when you put notes together, you get a chord. When you put your notes together in perfumery, you get an accord, okay? And so when we have our accords on display, like we have in front of you, these are called perfumer's organs. So we're coming in here and we're making a masterpiece, okay? So when it comes to creating our fragrance, we can't just have a note, okay? The fragrance oil will just sit on our skin. We need a solvent, and typically that is our perfumer's alcohol, which is an ethyl alcohol. And the alcohol is what allows your fragrance to project from your skin, okay? Now, projection is how far the fragrance travels from you. And so different fragrances have different levels of projection. You can have a high projection fragrance where someone would be able to smell me from across the room, or you can have something that's more of a skin scent where people have to get very close to me before they're really picking up on me. Okay? There's no right or wrong level of projection. It's just a matter of personal preference and maybe circumstance. Um, I might really like a high projection fragrance if I'm like in an interview and I want to make a statement, but it probably isn't as appropriate to wear high projection fragrances at the gym because I might choke out the person next to me, right? <laughs> and so it's just on a case by case basis as well, okay? Now I want you to know that projection is not the same as sillage, which people often get confused. Sillage, S-I-L-L-A-G-E, 
is how long the scent lingers after you have left a space, okay? So we probably all have that experience where we walk into an elevator and no one's in there, but you could smell somebody's perfume or cologne, right? That means that it has a high or strong sillage. Now the relationship between the projection and the sillage is not one to one. So you can have a fragrance that has a high projection but a low sillage, which can be great if the person in front of you in line has a fragrance that you don't really like. The second they leave, it's gone, right? Um, so just be mindful of that when you're shopping for your fragrances, start to develop um, an understanding of what your preferences are when it comes to sillage and projection. So it's important for us to have the alcohol because the alcohol evaporates with our body heat and that is what allows our fragrance to protect. Okay? And so we have different balances of our fragrance oil to our alcohol, and these have different terms so that it helps you understand how long lasting your fragrance is going to be. And those concentration levels are at the bottom of our placemat. And so we're just going to start with our lowest level of projection. We have our Eau Fresh, okay? These are our fragrances that last about 30 minutes to an hour, maybe an hour and a half. We've all had our Eau Fresh. We've been there in like middle school, high school, <laughs> after a uh, gym when we like spritz, 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 spritz our body spray all over us and by the next period, no one can smell it anymore. <laughs> that is our Eau Fresh, okay? This can be our body sprays, our men's aftershave, things like that where we only really have one to 3% of the entire ratio being the fragrance oil, okay? So then next we have our Eau de Cologne, okay? So these can be um, the body sprays that we're getting from those like fine fragrance perfume houses. Um, these are lasting us maybe uh, two to three hours, okay? Um, these are not just men's fragrances. I know it's confusing with the word cologne being used in it, right? Um, but the terminology that we use with like perfume and cologne is really just a marketing tactic. Um, when you're buying a cologne, that does not mean you're buying at the, the concentration level of an Eau de Cologne, okay? The term actually comes from when perfume houses in Cologne, Germany started creating fine fragrances. Um, and so this can also be something that you own, a body spray, something that lasts you like a couple of hours. Um, so then really we start getting to our fine fragrances with our Eau de Toilettes and our Eau de Perfume. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over a little bit and go to our Eau de Perfumes, okay? These are our gold standard of fragrance. This is lasting us about eight hours, and that is what we will be making today. So this is the 2015 to 20% fragrance oil to alcohol ratio. Um, these are when we're seeing those fragrances that are upwards of like $100 plus, and we're getting those like really signature scents that um, a lot of people are, are aware of. Now, our Eau de Toilettes are just a more cost-effective option for our fine fragrances. They'll last us about four to six hours. Um, and oftentimes, the really nice fragrances that we find in that EDP concentration, we can find that same fragrance in the EDT, right? So if I just, I don't know if they have like EDT and EDT, but if I just love Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, and I love it in the EDP, but I don't want to like, you know, shell out that coin, then I can find it potentially in an EDT and it would be much cheaper because the fragrance oil is the most expensive part of mm -hmm. perfume. So if we're getting less of it, then we're getting a cheaper alternative for similar fragrance. Now you have to be mindful that some um, fine fragrances, the makeup between the EDP and the EDT can be a little different. And so not all of them are a one-to-one -one with the notes. So just be mindful of that if you are wanting to opt for a more cost-effective option, then you're really smelling and making that comparison, okay? And then finally, we have our X straight fit perfume, okay? So this is a really high concentration of fragrance oil. Oftentimes, it can be so heavy that it doesn't spray through an atomizer. And so if you've ever seen in like old movies where people are applying perfume and they have like a glass dropper on the lipstick and they're putting it, that's usually what that is. Um, they're coming back around in popularity. But like I said, the fragrance oil is the most expensive part of the fragrance, so they can get upwards of like a grand plus. Um, but they have a really long wear time. Um, some of them, even so, to where you can wash your clothes and after you've laundered them, you can still smell the fragrance on them. So if that's something that is important to you, then like maybe keep an eye out for them, okay? Now, when it comes to building our fragrance, we are going to be working with this olfactory pyramid here on the right hand side. <laughs> so we are going to be building our fragrance from the base up, okay? Starting with our base notes, these have the heaviest molecular weight. And so since that is the case, 
when your fragrance is evaporating, then they are staying on the longest because they are heavy. So when you get to the end of your eight hour wear, you're really just left with your base notes, okay? Now these are our woodsy smells, our ambery smells, um, things like that, or our, our gourmand smells like almond and vanilla. Um, there's not much variation between men's and women's fragrances when it comes to base notes, just because we have to have like something weighty at the base, okay? So our mid notes are where we start to see that variation. Our mid notes are our character notes. They are the heart of our fragrance, and this is what makes your fragrance unique, okay? Um, so we like to say that the mid notes um, evaporate gracefully off the skin, and so for the middle of your wear, the majority of your day, you're going to be smelling the mid notes and the base notes, okay? Now, our mid notes are our florals, our musks, our spices, our herbs, things like that. And so that's where we get the variation where our men's fragrances start to be those spices, those herbs, and those musks, and our women's fragrances start to be those lighter kind of florals and things like that, okay? And then finally, we have our top notes. These are our first impression. They really only last about 30 minutes to an hour, okay? So when you're shopping for your fragrances, we always recommend do not buy a fragrance on your first smell because how it smells when you actually wear it is likely not what it's going to smell like the majority of the time when you have those top notes as a factor, okay? And so these have the lightest molecular weight, um, and that is why they leave so quickly. And this is where we get our like citruses, our fresh kind of smells, um, things like that, okay? And so when we are constructing our fragrances, we are going to work from the base up. I'm gonna demonstrate for you how we build the fragrance. Oh, one more thing, we have a reference. You have a fragrance wheel in front of you. And this um, coincides with our olfactory pyramid. When you're building your fragrances, then you have a couple of options to understand like what kind of relationships the fragrances have with each other. Um, and so if you want fragrances that complement each other very well, you can stay within the same family or things that are side by side with each other. If you want something a little more complex, you can go for contradictory fragrances where you move across and look at the opposite end of the fragrance wheel, okay? So it's just helps you helps you with balancing your fragrance. You can uh, kind of make like triangles so that you have a little opposition and a little um, complement to. It's just a, a good reference. There's also a reference um, if you want, you can use the website Fragrantica, F-R-A-G-R-A-N-T-I-C-A, call me a key and And you, you can use that to figure out what notes are in existing fragrances. So it gives you direction for what you usually go for. Um, I don't recommend using this to try to recreate a fine fragrance because we may not have the notes and you don't get a lot of opportunities to make your own fragrance. You can go and buy that. Try to make something unique, okay? <laughs> so when we are building our fragrances, then we are going to start by smelling every single note. I know there may be some that you see the label for and you say, mm -mm, I don't think I like that. Just go ahead and smell it anyway. So you're gonna start with your base notes. How you smell your fragrances is rather than opening them up and smelling the bottle, because these are already diluted with the perfumer's alcohol, if you're just wafting a bunch of alcohol for the next 90 minutes, you will be on the floor. I, I, I'm not strong enough to pick you guys up off the floor. I don't want you getting lightheaded. So instead, we're going to turn the bottle upside down to saturate the cap, and you're going to smell the cap, okay? And then if you like what you smell, then you are going to take one of the fragrance strips from the middle of the table, the ones that they chase you down with them perfume. <laughs> You're going to write down what you have. So I have bergamot vanilla. So I write bergamot vanilla, and then I'll write a B, because this is my base note, OK? And we're just going to start by smelling all of the base notes. And so since I like this one, I'll make that note. And then I'll take the small end, and I'm going to dip it into my fragrance, and then I can just leave it off to the side of the tray, or I can clip it into my clip to allow that alcohol to evaporate. And then I'll just keep smelling all of my base notes until I have a nice little fan here of all of my base notes, okay? Mm -hmm. And then once you have the base notes, it's okay um, if you're like on the fence about how they're all together, you're not making a commitment by putting it on your clip, okay? So once I have all of my base notes that I kind of like, then I would move on to my mid notes. Okay, and I'll do the same thing, saturate the cap, but this time I'm gonna smell it through my base notes, since that is how I'm gonna smell it when I'm wearing my fragrance, right? And so once I find, you can just smell it by itself though if you want. <laughs> so once I find one that I like, then again, I'm going to label, dip, and then I'm gonna add it to my clip until I have my fan of my bases and my mids, okay? 
Now we want to pick about three to five in each category at the end, but again, just make a fragrance strip for any fragrance that you like to smell of, okay? And then finally, I'm going to go through that process again with my top notes, my purple labels. And so I'll turn it upside down, see if I smell it, and I like it, and if I do, did, okay? And actually, this is another one where I would recommend smelling through the strips, okay? Top notes with my bases and my mids, okay? Not necessary, but I recommend it. And then once I have my full fan of 9 to 15, then this is where I start deciding. And I say, mm, actually, now that I put that other stuff in, I don't think the rose is really doing it anymore. Or, actually, I think I want to add the coconut back, right? And then once I have my 9 to 15 that I'm like, yes, this, this is it. This is my fragrance. Then you're going to write down your notes on the little purple card. I don't think I have one up here. The little purple card on your tray. We have three boxes. So on the bottom box, you're gonna write your base notes. In the middle box, you're gonna write your mid notes. And then the top notes, you're gonna write in the top box, okay? And then once you have everything written out, then we will come around. You can flag down anyone in a brown apron. And we're gonna do a little intuitive process where we assign some numbers to each note. Maybe you smell them all together and you say, I love the black fern in here, but I think it's so strong. It's really overpowering. And so then we can add some numbers to where we're just adding a little bit and we add more of your other notes, right? So we can balance it the way that you want to. Once you have your numbers assigned, then you are gonna start measuring out by unscrewing the lids and then you should have a funnel on your tray. You're gonna place the funnel inside of your bottle and then you're gonna use these pipettes to measure out your fragrance. Can I have everybody grab a pipette and take a look at it? They are hard to read on their own, harder to read when they're covered in fragrance. So we have a one mil, a two mil, and a three mil line, as well as some half, as well as some halfway marks. Okay, this is what we're going to use to keep track of how much we are measuring out. So we're measuring a total of 50 milliliters for our whole bottle. Okay, and so you'll just go note by note. You're going to work from the bottom of your page up with your base notes all the way to your top notes. And so let's say I'm doing like nine milliliters of my bergamot vanilla. Then I'll just go in rounds until I do my nine mils. And then I'll take my pipette, I can put it back down on my tray or I can throw it away, grab a new pipette and start working on my next fragrance, okay? Because we don't want to get the fragrances mixed up, right? So once I build all the way to the top of my page and then I have my full 50 milliliters measured out and my bottle should look like this. It should have a gap at the top because we don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Um, we want to make sure there's room for changes in air pressure and temperature and we know Houston loves to do that. Um, otherwise, your bottle will start to leak and we do not want that to Okay, and so we will make sure you get your full 50 milliliters because you'll have all of the numbers that add up to 50, but there will be a gap here. Do not be alarmed, that's how it's supposed to look, okay? And then once you have everything measured out, then I recommend before you close your bottle, you can kind of plug it with your finger. Not doing very visual, but imagine this is open. Plug it with your finger, turn it upside down, and then you'll have a little residue on your finger that you can put on your skin so that you can see how the fragrance develops on you since our pH um, can affect how the fragrance comes out with the notes. So you are going to be able to see how the fragrance develops over time on your pH. And then I recommend grabbing a new fragrance strip, spraying about four or five times, and then you have that as reference as well, okay? We wanna spray it a couple of times to get the fragrance through the atomizer to start a maturation process. Okay, and then that's it. You have made your own fragrance. Does anybody have any questions? Not yet. No? Okay, <laughs> no worries. Okay, so I will check on y'all in a little bit. You can just go ahead and start smelling those base notes, and I'll just come in and give um, like little time reminders whenever necessary. All right, y'all have Okay, so the green one. Yeah, the green one. Okay, so she didn't say that. One day I try to do One day I try to do I don't want to mess up your night. I don't want to mess up your night. So smart. I'm not gonna make you. I like to talk to you. Okay, good at this. I'm so good at this. Go one more day without you. No, no, no. Late.
lately there's something that's missing Empty bed doesn't feel empty hearts Typical me reminiscing A memory doesn't heal open scars Late night drinking, wishful thinking What if you were Feel. I don't wanna mess up your night. I don't wanna put up a fight. I don't wanna trouble you, babe. But I got to say, I don't wanna waste no more time trying to shake the feelings inside. Finally, got made up my mind. Can't go one more day without you. Yeah, I'm literally. Let's start over again. Okay, what? Off and I'll see you next time with the bottle, okay? Yeah. 
on purpose. She's not. Yeah, no, definitely no, totally on that. Oh, kind of None of us knew, but if we're feeling generous, you know, since you can come in here and get tipsy, if you want to help me and my team feel tipsy, oh. we have a jar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> as well and then the last thing you'll see is a link to leave us a google review because we're a small business google reviews go a really long way for us so if you had a good time please leave us a review if you didn't have a good time please don't leave us a review <laughs> i'm joking we want you to speak back but definitely uh shout us out tag us on social media if you guys want us to take pictures of you after this please let us know we will be your personal photographers and don't forget to take off your aprons but that is all I have for you. Thank you guys for coming in and making my Friday. I thought it was awesome. Girl, you're so excited. Yeah. Well, she told me I could. I had an extra. So we're just like to change. I don't know. Play everything. Part of me feels like I did. I'm sure. That was an awesome place. I don't know. It's the smell. I'm going to call it. Where is it, girl? Oh, that's what she said. I was just a little bit. Ask for something like that. That's so good. It's like, it's kind of like. The one that you did, but like a little like, it's not bad. You like rose. Like, it's not bad. Yeah. You should call it very fresh. <laughs> maybe, maybe it just needs to master it, like she said. Yeah. At least just blend. <laughs> You only you you and your stuff. I have some sour stuff. I cannot. Yeah, I love it. Look, just call me the bag lady. Literally. <laughs> that was so much fun. Oh, that was so fun. Thank you so much for setting that up. You that are so welcome. So I, lit. I underestimated how fun yeah, that would be. Ooh, ooh. So Actually, you went on a ramp. Ooh, ooh. Actually, you on a ramp like you got a wheelchair. My city has yeah, for real. We about to get it. You about to get it today, honey. It's a little something light. Nothing big. Nothing too big. You know, something simple. Don't make me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make me. Yeah, yeah. Something simple. You feel me? Thank you. Thank you. And she beeping on her own, too, you know. She sees me coming, so she starts beeping. She winking at you? Yeah, she doing a little <laughs> winky wink, okay? Now, we doing my wig in the back. I had a hobby before I got go. my braids done. All right, right. I'm Prince so done. Look at what you do. Ooh, you remember my wig? <laughs> this is a lady. <laughs> not, not her, her, like a dog. <laughs> I can't stand you. I can't stand you. Why are you doing this to me? That is so funny. Not you putting the blanket down. Because I don't want to hurt. I'm listen, you come with yourself in my car. We laying a blanket down. You so funny. You know, Jolanda's in the building or whatever. Or whatever. You know, we, we, we from coast to coast. Oh, coast to coast. From sea to sea. Go, <laughs> go. I have seen you four times this year. I know, right? With February, right, right. July, September, September, no, right. February, July, oh, yeah. Essence, September, 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 because it was Fashion Week and then, and then Women Evolve. Five times. This Hello is my somebody. fifth time. Hello, somebody. At this point, you just need to move to Houston. I know, right? But you're gonna choose between Houston and Dallas. You I get know. the you get the vibe from both and see which one you like. They're different, people say. I mean, that's what I've heard. We have we have to really like. But uh, yeah, you, you get you getting the vibe. We're right now we're headed to Joey Uptown for a little happy hour. We got mad stuff in the in the whip. We got wigs. We got base bags. We got suitcases. We got all kind of stuff. We got deodorant wipes. We got deodorant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to do a little wipe up after the class. Mm-hmm. Fresh up. Got the armpits together. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing older. We outside. We better go eat. I'm so excited. I know. This is, okay, so this is gonna be like. So this is my road to 50, part of it. But it's gonna be a lot of firsts, like first time. So we just made perfume. <laughs> oh yeah, our yeah. perfume smells so good. It's the first time making that, so I'm gonna put so and scratch it off. New perfume making class. Yes. How about that? It's a vibe, how about that? The light is what? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're home now. Yes. I'm at my friend's house. I'm staying for the first time. We're about to get a little. She get her vlog on, and then she's gonna show me the room, my guest room that she's prepared. I look so sleepy, 
Oh, you look so youthful. Oh, hallelujah. Okay, I'm so come into the room. I I didn't get to put the pillows, but <laughs> here we are. Okay, once you hit the light, what we do it. Oh, let's see. You're so funny. Well, here we are. Welcome. <laughs> yes. We've got a gift basket for our guests. Okay. So get comfortable. Oh, okay. Yes, I did not bring. Wait a minute, I'm no pajamas. Yeah. I got pajamas. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's so. I got my little hostess game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you got to make your guests feel welcome. Definitely. Love mm -hmm. me some stuff. You've got a lounge, uh, excuse me, you've got a suitcase rack, okay? Just w one. Hotel Who, okay? <laughs> you got a laundry <laughs> basket. Skin of Four Seasons, yes. We'll do laundry, fresh linens. The accent pillows didn't come yet. <laughs> I was still washing the the, the, the cover. <laughs> Not a robe. Not a robe. Actually washed robe, okay? okay? And towels so and things in the back. The shower also has body scrub, body I wash, see. the whole thing that you need wow, you know so towel warmers you can warm your towel uh-huh yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Oh, now we gotta get her close-up. We got the under lights. We got yeah, 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 yeah. We got That's mood lights. Warm, 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 warm. You got mood lights. Okay, is this for me? Yeah, yeah. You got what a, is this? It's a it's viscous. It's a viscous glove. It's freaking gonna exfoliate you. I don't know if you want yes. a washcloth. I got my summer's eve department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So summer's eve. You know I got that poopery. You got the poopery. The cooch and the pooch. The cooch and the pooch. Yeah. Yes. We don't know what, what's going on. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We got a good towel warmer. You feel me? You oh, got your good. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, And a towel warmer definitely about to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you know it's just a little Let chilly. Me. We can get that popping right now if you want to. So, Let me warm my towel up. Turn it on. Jeez, I'm going to. Yes. What are we going to do? We can do 30 this minutes. This is so cute. Oh, we'll settle in. Yes. I'm here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I need one of these. So you want I didn't take it. I need to get laces on. Yes. You're so funny. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Look at the video. Okay. Hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to throw the towel in. Okay. Yeah, we're going to warm the towel. Yes. This okay. Is, this is turn down service. Okay. Yeah. And I'm making my hot tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. hot tea for the day. Oh, okay. We're going to put our pajamas on and do our tea. Mm. Oh, I'm going to cleanse this face. Yes. <laughs> oh, cute. Because oh, we're not outside. We're inside. We're inside. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to bed. We're going to do a summer party. We're inside tonight. We're inside tonight. Slumber party, okay?
as you saw, I did so much cleaning today. I'm still doing the laundry and the linens off of the, of the couch and everything. And then I'll finally be done. That was such a, that was such a task. But the tool that I was using to scrub off all of the, or to scrape off all of the balled up lint balls, perfect, link in all that below. But yeah, good morning. We are gonna go to the gym. This is my set. I have these in so many different colors. And then I forgot I even had this cropped situation. So we got this going on. Zolanda did tell me, she, she did tell me that she was gonna wake up late. And sure enough, she showed it. That was it. Yeah, I've been up three hours. So yeah, she's getting ready. And then we're gonna go to the gym and then go on with our day. Hi. <laughs> well, welcome to Saturday. Oh my gosh. I, heard, I just heard your feet. Girl. Hi, welcome to Saturday. Not you. Where's the show? I was just telling the vlog. I was like, I've been up three hours. Delanda did tell me she was gonna sleep. She was oh, gonna yeah, wake yeah, up whenever yeah, she yeah. felt like it. Yeah. Whenever her body woke up and she showed it, I was like, she was not lying. I've been cleaning. I've been doing all kind of stuff. I've been oh, awake. Pumpkin. Oh, I know. Yeah. So yeah, I'm. I'm ready. City Center. I'm coming to my old faithful. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Bella Green. So I told Yolanda about that. So she just has to have it. We're trying to do good. We almost fell into Kalachi factory earlier, but we didn't do that because we're, we look too good. The workout, insane. I was very tired. Trying our best to be on in sync, but it wasn't always working, you know? How are you enjoying Houston thus far? Oh, look at her. Oh, yeah. Listen, one thing she's not going to do is let her hair get all messed up and looking crazy, and okay? Laid it down right for the workout. Hello? Gonna put these sloppy shades on. Hello? You know. No, you, you're giving the people, not mascara. Uh -huh. You're giving the people a vibe. Look at me in my little freaking adolescent oh, sweatshirt on. Not adolescent. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm so exhausted. I'm hungry and oh, yeah. lacking energy. Oh, yeah. My legs, together, huh? my legs are feeling it. Yeah. Badly. It's a workout. For a while oh we've been here for a little bit already and i just showered and i feel like taking my contacts out because i'm so tired oh so Yolanda, working out makes me sleepy okay and yesterday we went to bed at one o'clock because we were just talking 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 and i got up at seven so i'm sleepy so yeah after the workout i was tired but we had things to do oh bella green was so good as you saw love love freaking love that salad so that was bomb now we're home and we're gonna go out tonight Right now, I don't have the energy, so it is, I don't look like someone that's ready to go out, but we're gonna do something, okay? We've heard of Five Central Lounge, ever been? Live music, we're gonna see what that's talking about. We were gonna go to this place called Roof, wait, Reset Rooftop. My contacts are out, so I can see things in front of me, but just not details. Anyway, we have some plans for tonight, and that's more of a 10 o'clock situation, you feel me? So we're gonna just chill it out right now. I wanna take a nap, but let's see if I can wind down my body. Because what happens is, I wake up too soon in the nap and then I'm groggy. That's kind of what it is. My body, it wasn't, isn't there a, a threshold of quick nap versus you actually were asleep sleep and then you woke up and now you're gonna be groggy for the next six hours. I hate that feeling. So that's why naps don't work 
I mean, my braids are so tight. It's insane. Do you hear me? It's windy out. So, yo, my scalp is looking very wide open. So, my scalp was feeling so cold at Sin Sin today. I was like, dang, my, I can feel it. My scalp is too much. It was funny. Anyway, but yeah, I feel good not having my contacts in because, you know, you got to breathe sometimes. So what the hell? Okay, I brought some fruit. Let's go open that up and nibble a little bit and just chill. Okay, so Instacart. I don't know if you use Instacart or not, but I sure do because I ain't got time to go to a grocery store. So I ordered fruit. I got strawberries. Okay, I hope these are good. I got to cut these up. Raspberries, oh, see, I like them, but because it has a pit, I'd be so nervous that there's stuff inside of it. You feel what I'm saying? I'd be looking real intently like, is there a hidden bug? I know they gotta be rinsed and all that, but I'd be getting like, ugh. Raspberries just already just look fuzzy, but sometimes they look real suspect. And then I'd be staring into my blueberries, which I love. I love the jumbo ones because regular ones just aren't, they just aren't, look at my mouth is watering. The jumbo ones just aren't juicy and then they excuse me the jumbo ones are juicy the regular ones are not juicy and they're just too tiny i hate that i love the crunch that comes with this look this one right here looks a little suspect Ooh, not a phone on the ground i'm done look some of me look a real suspect we're going to give these a good rinse but usually the jumbo blueberries be good and you know that blueberries all berries actually are low carb so that's why I stick with the berries. Look, I'm seeing a little one, two suspect situations. You feel me? Because why is that white inside? Mm -mm. We're not even gonna try it out. Am I gonna croak? No, but hello? So I'll be looking in here real intently. And somehow these don't spoil too quickly. The tiny ones I feel be spoiling. I'm like, you've only been here for a day. Why are you already rotten? Are you okay? Are you okay? When you, before you came to this house, were you okay? Because you must not have been. Are you okay? Look at, ooh. These don't look too, excuse me. Did that man not look at what he was picking out? Bless his heart, but come on. What are y'all doing when you're picking out these groceries, these fruit? And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, that's why I go to the store myself. But girl, we need conveniences that need to be done correctly. You feel me? Let it be convenient and let it be done correctly. I mean, there's a, these are not horrible. They're not horrible, but I found a, I found a few defects. And then I got mangoes because I showed you last week about how the mangoes from walmart spoiled so quickly they spoiled right here at the what what do you call this the stem which is just crazy so i don't think that these no i don't think i know from experience that these h-e-b mangoes don't be acting like that now look at my plantain my plantain is ready to be eaten maybe oh no this is rotten Ooh, ooh. this one's rotten this one's gonna be really soft i'm like when it's too soft this one is not gonna be good this one's gonna be way too i mean it gotta go Although sometimes we, we make it where it's really, really soft, but it's not my preference at all. Okay. Oh, and I have to restock on some nuts because Brian has a good fat. Where is the fat? Yep, 20% fat per serving. So it's good for keto. What's this? Oh, I forgot I bought this. <laughs> Lemon pepper salmon. Hold on. So I wanted to try it out. I forgot I bought this. Oh, I didn't know it had rice. Oh, hell. It had oh, 35 grams of carbs. Oh man, I didn't realize those rice on the side. Whatever, okay, it's here. We'll see. Okay, so just, just a little quick fruit haul here. Let's make it look pretty. Okay, what do you want to say? She, Delana now said she, she has her neck strip. She got, oh, she's had this neck strip on since. But it's a new one. Hair wrap strip since. It's a new one. Oh, it's a new one? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got our berries. Yeah, got I, was, I, was in a, I was in my private suite. She was in a private room. I said, do you want to come to the common area? We're in the main quarter you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to make some plantains. That's where I got a third win. Yes. And I told her she needs to save it because 10 o'clock is far away. Mm. Actually, we definitely got to leave before It's almost 6, so. 
Since I control what's what's this? Now, that's terrible. Oh, I got this from Amazon. I saw somebody post by it. It was so here? sick. So you can charge your you device right here. Techie girl. Mm -hmm. I love that for you. And then you I'm can trying. put whatever oh, snacks and stuff. Oh, look around here. Yeah. I'll go back. Here. You can put whatever snacks you want in this little Wait container. Wait a minute. You take it to the couch? And you put, uh-huh. And I you cannot. put your drink right here. I haven't ever used it. I'm, I'm about to That's use it. That's cute. This must have felt falling because it's all in That's actually cute. Really but yeah. And then it comes in black. And you put your back right here. No, uh, your or phone or your oh. pencil, I guess, or something. I don't know. You put your phone right there, and then you can charge whatever. Stop. So I'm about to put a portable charger oh, inside of this. Uh, you put your hands are you typing? Uh, oh, that's a good point. Oh, you put it like this. And I don't know. Done. I don't know. No, you just showed me something new. I didn't realize. It's cushiony. But yeah, and so okay, so I think your phone can go here or the remote. You the remote control. This is definitely a And a pen. So I'm gonna put a portable charger in here. And then when you charge it right here, mm -hmm. you got your charger. You feel me? That's cute. I don't know this understanding. Couch, it is a couch. Okay, let me elevate my Yeah, couch. it's a little couch couch console. Oh, champagne. Okay. Am I fall asleep sitting up to my talk now? Ooh! Okay, nothing about it. Ooh! Yesterday we we weren't even trying to go to bed. That was a problem. That was the issue yesterday, talking until God knows what time, and then mm -hmm. it was one o'clock. And then I went and was watching something on YouTube, girl, the Young Thug trial. It, it's just too much. Oh, and then I'm like, wait, what time is it? I gotta go to bed. This is too much. I'm gonna take notes on the plantains. You said what? I'm gonna take notes on the plantains. Oh, it's so easy. I'm just gonna air fry it. It cooks. Do you just smush it down or you fry it and then smush it? You, you see, I'm not even doing all that. It's like, yeah. a little, it's like banana bites. Oh, and I cleaned this up too because it was bothering me. You know, you can do the whole smush and then fry, but oh, that makes it a smush. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to do the seaweed? Yep. And then I did find more chips. I found oh, let me see. I found chili lime. Yep. And then I found... It's, look, it's, keto, it's keto until it's not keto. Keto. Yeah, this is keto. You I mean, mm -hmm. Four grams of carbs. Four grams of carbs. And then yeah. I found the sour cream and onion one. Girl, I don't know these two. 20 grams of protein. Stop it. Yep. Sour okay. cream and onion. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so... What am I trying to do? Yeah, oh yeah, we're not doing it like that. We're not doing the whole frying, no, no, no. I'm just gonna air fry, it's healthier. Even right, well, do you, how you, do you, just, I'm gonna watch, so we just be quiet a little. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna spray my tray, or the rack, excuse me, the rack for the air fryer. Okay. And then I'm gonna just, I had a knife that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I'm girl. Yeah, we're not doing it that way. I think the way you're talking about it is maybe how Hispanics do it. We're not doing it. I mean, we fry it too. We don't mash it. We just cut it and then fry it. But I'm not doing that. No. Okay. Regular fry is not healthy. This is already sugar and carbs. I'm not right. trying to make it worse for myself. You feel me? So this is what we're going to do. I just slice it. Open it up. You feel me? We're going to cut mm -hmm. it sideways because it looks cute. I was right? definitely giving it authentic. Yeah. That's how we do you think it. we think like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not smashing really good. anything. We just... Okay. You know, do you think that's enough or you, you, you eat a lot of these? All for me or them for us? You and I. This all for us? Yes. More? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Because this is not something you say. You eat it fresh because it's hot. Right. Yeah. So you don't oh, want to be like, oh, I'll save it for later. No, mm -hmm. it's easy to do now. Okay, cool. Very good. So, yeah. Not me laying down like a little crossword puzzle. Girl! Like, oh, like, not her doing the freaking isolation camp. What was going on there? <laughs> You in town now? I gotta see what's going on. I thought you were gonna play out. Okay. It, it, it was giving a solitary confinement. Yeah. No, no, no. What was this? Oh, I had pizza in here last month. I'll watch it after. Okay. And that's it. And then I just use it 15 minutes. It's on 400 degrees, so it cooks fast. And it's done. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna record everything. I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> There really is nothing to it. Yeah, we're not doing anything fancy too. We're not gonna smash it down, put seasoning on top, and all those things. We don't do it. Like yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, that's it's a whole cool different re uh, re recipe. That's um, not, yeah, that's not yeah. what we do. We will fry it or we will bake it. Mm -hmm. But either way, we're not gonna be seasoning it. I mean, there's something, else. anyway, I don't wanna confuse you, but yeah, we're not, we don't be. We're gonna right here. Straight to it. And it's so good with peanuts. Oh, really? Mm, peanuts? Yes. Like dry peanut butter or peanuts? Dry or roasted? No, because carbs, I don't normally buy these kind of things, but All I right. buy them a lot. But yeah, dry roasted peanuts, not the salted one, just unsalted. Mm. And you just eat it. You take a bite, take a bite. Ooh, it's so good. Well, yeah, a little. Well, I don't care, salt and sugary. Oh, oh, unsalted peanuts. Well, yeah. yeah, you unsalt it. Because I tried it with the salt and it was too much. Mm. Oh my God. It yeah. was way too much salt. I don't think. Speaking of salt, don't really expect it. Yes. 
Yeah, the chili lime is spicy. It's 300 milligrams of sodium. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it has a little tang to it. Oh, uh -oh. I'm gonna be swallowing it night better. No way. You need some uh, mm, laxatives. You said water, I said laxatives. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, no no, no carbs, but a whole bunch of sodium. I've never looked at the sodium level of that. Oh, wow. boy. It's definitely giving ramen noodles. Yes! Because it's very tasty. Oh, you're right. It's so that one is tasty. It's salty. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. okay, the sour cream onion one is not that salty. Oh Sorry. I did not even look at that. Oh. But you're also going to do your roasted seaweed. How are you going to have space for a plantain? A plantain is very hearty. I'm a heaving. I'm oh. heaving. A foodie. Oh, a foodie. Sorry. Okay, so you have space. Okay. The space is hidden, hidden uh -huh. areas. <laughs> the areas are hidden, okay. Yo, I bought these seaweed, roasted seaweed situations a while ago. I wanted to try them. I couldn't do it. Oh. I could not do it. But she loved I, I want to do it. I, know it's I, I them. want to. I can buy like the um, big sheets and make sushi rolls, oh, like hand rolls. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Or like crumble it up on like a seaweed bowl, yeah. like a sushi bowl. I don't like those don't ginger. taste so fishy though when I've had okay. sushi. Really? The rolled up black one. It doesn't taste so fishy. Oh. It's just something about it was just mad fishy to me. Are they black? Yeah, you know when you go get or a dark sushi green. Or dark green. This is green or I don't know. It looks black. Mm. We go to take when you go to a, a sushi yeah. place or and it's, it looks black to me. Yeah. Mm. But it don't taste fishy. This one is it's like they, they season it with fish. Really <laughs> what? It's, it's like, like they seasoned it with fish, imagine. That's okay. It's just strange. Now for your champagne. Oh, oh, oh the choice is it. I yes. have orange juice. Oh, well, I do have cherry syrup. Do you want to make a low flavor to it? Okay. It is low carb and all that stuff. Okay. Protein chips. Protein chips this filming. Gone. And then low, low carb uh, adult know. beverage. Are these made is made out of grapefruit champagne matter? It is, but you see it's not high it's not high uh, it's not very sweet. It's not very sweet. So it's it's gonna be dry. Okay. It's gonna taste like a little like this. But you know, yeah. then get a little here. to it. Plantains. Yeah. So air fried plantain, honey. So uh, you know, international bananas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, and we get our syrup, we want the cherry if you oh, want. Yeah. You feel me? We go ahead and put the oh, we clean this some more. Want to fill it in your own? Can I see this? No, I'll just come up. This is what I'm really is cute. Okay, you know. That's true. Where's your focus? Excuse me. Hello. That's this. Come on. The unfocused. Woo! you gonna do is put that tripod out okay Ugh. you don't have time to play these games <laughs> you're not interested i'm doing my tripod uh, yeah, oh if you want to i don't mind i was just i'm just getting mine <laughs> yeah i'm gonna prep the, the glass with okay with our skinny syrup zero calories zero sugar you feel me Okay, what we and it's a cherry flavor. What we do with skinny syrup, zero calories, zero sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we watch our we watch our figures around here in this area, okay? Just a little bit because <laughs> it is very concentrated. Oh. But if you want more, you can put you can put more once you see how it tastes. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna make it taste like a Shirley Temple, but a wine version. Mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. Cherry syrup. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, don't pop your eye. I know. I don't be shaking it. That's too much. Now my nails. Ooh, will even allow me? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Please, you face. I don't want to make feel, you know. I know. My nails. I can't grip it. Okay, I got it on this. Okay, here we are. 
Here we go. The rag, the rag in the, the, rag, I know. the rag in the frame. Cause my dad. Oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. It won't take me too long. They're done. (laughs) 
Okay, it's later than it should be, but we're still going to go out. Okay, we're still going to make ourselves go. I had a lotion in my hands. I'm using the Selgin Selginetto Delicia Drench Body Butter. I did my usual soft clean. I wanted to do a black smoky eye, but I have yet to replenish my kit that's in the bathroom. I need to put a black something. Oh, I did have black eyeshadow. I just forgot. Okay, well, I did a brown, dark brownish, grayish smoky eye. It's just a situation. And I'm using the one size what's it called one size turn up the base foundation love it it's matte so my face feels a little dry but i like it, it I, I i really do like it i'm trying to move it around i did spray my face to help loosen it up a little bit dang i need to fix my nose contour it looks too wide i already cleaned all my brushes i'm annoyed i'm gonna leave it because i don't feel like dealing, i don't feel like taking everything out but i need my nose contour anymore <sighs> whatever i'm just gonna leave it i'm stepping back to see how it looks okay anyway Alrighty, so let's get dressed. I'm wearing an old outfit that I've worn before, but it's really cute. So let's do that. All right, here's the outfit. The skirt is big on me, but thankfully it's a spandex type situation. So it fits, but it's spacious. I mean, it would be great if it went under my butt a little bit. But that's okay. It's giving a little peacock. I'm going to link what I can. This is old. I've worn this before. But you know, when something works, it just works. I mean, it's a black outfit. You just can't go wrong. And because it's cooler outside, I feel like my skin gets ashy quickly. So I'm going to go for my skin with lotion again. Before I do my Brown Sugar Babe body oil, I'm wearing a black blazer and black thigh-high boots. The thing about the boots is I've worn it when I was heavier, which means that it's stretched out, which means that it's loose. And I don't know how to keep it up. It's annoying. I have to keep on pulling it up. So that's supposed to be irritating. Okay, I'm going to do what I know is just going to be fantastic. Blonde Ambition. I just want something i want a fragrance tonight that is going to project okay and we know that this is gonna get it done oh i could have also done it girl i could have also done it girl that is tried and true you know once you test out different combinations you'll know how they perform so then when you're going somewhere and you really want a certain vibe you really know what to do you're not having to test something out you feel me and like i just want to smell good all night hello so we're going to, the goal is live music today. Just the part that's gonna show is what I want to look a little shiny. So the goal is live music. We're gonna check out two spots and see what I want. And I'll try to record what I can on my phone because I'm not getting my freaking camera confiscated. I'm trying to be outside. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Okay. All right, is this? And I feel the need to tighten this side because if not, I'll have an areola slip, okay? Areola slip. Hi, how are you? Where are we? Okay. Here we go. Because it, it's close. It's close. Since the reconstruction, things are closer than they used to be, okay? We're going to do Oud. No, we're going to do Anna and Glory because, again, it's Old Faithful. She's so freaking good. I'm going to spray. Ooh, I miss this. I haven't worn this in so long. And it's not on my October perfume tray. But like I said, I just had to go with something. I, I, I just I just had to, okay? Now, I am going to spray under my feet. We know how we do Asper Cream because it freaking works. I'm going to spray because if I remember correctly, these boots bother me on the sides. So my big toe and pinky. And then, of course, oh, you can't even see it. Well, of course, right at the ball of the feet. It's just always a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm leaning on my heel so not to wipe off the spray on my rug. Spraying my pinky and my big toe, just like where that bone is. And then the ball of my feet all around. Those are the problem areas. And oh, the corn mover thing. Oh, I'm on my, I'm on my heels. Let me show it to you. Because those two areas that I sprayed, the pinky and the what you call it, that's where the corn be coming in. So here, something like this is what you need. It is a salicylic acid product, essentially. And it eats away at the hardening that starts to happen in those areas that form a corn. So what happens is a few days after you use it, that area that you put this on will start to peel. So as it eats it away, it starts to peel. And then you just peel it. So looking at my toes, I need to put more of it in those two areas because... Once you start to see lighter skin 
forming. It's, it's starting to form a corn, honey. And I do not have time for that because, excuse me, what the hell? So yeah, you know, all the shoes and stuff from Fashion Week, from September. From September, I was in a lot, so I'll put it right here. So it's in front of my face so I can remember that, oh, let me apply this. Now, these boots I've had for ages, yo, ages. I don't like this below, by the way. And you can also scan the QR code if you're watching on television so you can see what I got going on. These are thigh high, like I said, pretty stretched out, but these are old faithfuls, old faithfuls, okay? Let's see, let me sit down. Oh, and you need, look at me, sitting down. And you need these inserts too to keep your boots standing up straight in your closet, okay? I'm gonna like these as well. Let's have a seat and put these boots on. If you're like me, you have to put your boots on or your shoes left to right, I always do. And you know, I don't wear socks, I never do, ever. Ever, 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 ever. I just don't feel the need. And I don't, yeah, I, I never need them. So, I don't wear it. So these, sh yo, even the boot is big on me. My foot has shrunk. Can you imagine that? Yeah, I actually could, I actually could use some socks because these boots feel big. The actual shoe. All right, I stand corrected. I know they don't, but because I literally there's a lot of space in the shoe, I need to get a pair of socks. And I got fuzzy, oops, let me not get oil on these, these boots. I got fuzzy socks. I think these boots are, where did I get these boots from? Are these Aldo? I think they're leather. I mean, they have withstood the test of time. They haven't, they're just really good. I don't know, I don't know what kind of material this is. Okay, put on these fuzzy socks because they need to be thick. Oh, you can see the, oh my God, the sock at my ankle. You can see it in the boot. I hope it's not obvious. Okay. All right, that feels more secure because the boots are big now. All right. And it'd be great if his skirt was shorter to show more leg, to make it less, you feel me? I mean, let me do this. Does that look crazy? I am wearing a blazer, so it ain't gonna look so poofy around the waist. Yeah, it just needs to be shorter. Ooh, <laughs> careful on the back, hi. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna look crazy, but we gonna, we gonna put our, our blazer on, okay? All right, here's my finished look. Thank God I had this blazer still, I almost fell, because I took blazers to the dry cleaner and I haven't picked them up yet. And I was like, do I have a black blazer? I was thinking of a different one of mine, but I at least had this one, so thank the Lord, because if not, excuse me. This is the one from Zara that I got in New York during Fashion Week. It's tailored, it looks really good. It's actually big on me. When I got it, it fit me better. So I've lost weight since then, which, you know, it's fine. It's still a little bit oversized. I'm not gonna button it. Though I could and it would still give me an hourglass shape and yeah so oops can you see so this is the whole look I'm a little bit bloated right here I had garlic bread earlier not a good choice <laughs> so it's a little poochy right here but yeah oh what's that I'm like, what is that it looks like toilet troll wait what is that is it a feather from my couch I'm annoyed what's that on my foot I'm annoyed okay yeah having the socks on is helpful because these shoes feel big on me but yeah Excited. John is almost done. And then we're out of here. Time, now, long time, but a good time. You understand. All right. I got my girl Deja in the building. Deja's in the building. Singing, entertaining, listening to you all the call at me. I know. I see y'all. When you get that notion, you put your back. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Wow. Faces in third ward. I haven't been to faces in maybe 
12 years. So I was like, I remember that place being a small little bar. No, it was bigger than I remember. And I loved the music. They were playing reggae. I said, wait a minute. I don't remember what happened over here ages ago. But if this is how they doing it, I like it. I mean, it was ding a ding a ling a ling Yo, I was like, wait, 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 wait. It was, I was, I was vibing. I loved it. And they had some Afrobeats. And because it was one o'clock when we got there, I was like, yo, we got to make the most of what this little area. So 5015 is across street from faces. And I'm trying to show Jolanda a good time. So I was like, you want to go over there? Because it just looked like it was vibing. Girl, we go over there. It was maybe 1.30 when we went across the street. Oh my God. They were playing slow music. And I'm like, oh, I forgot that places do that to wind you down because very soon you got to get out of here so the slow music was going and I'm like good grief it was just so she likes the the whole vibe of the place I just wanted I'm just showing her around and so as long as she liked the vibe I'm cool but I'm like golly what's going on over here it was packed over there and it was just like people just standing around anyway then we came home and it was so freaking scary the drive home because speeding cars this car when I tell you was going probably 100 miles an hour no less than 100 miles an hour okay sped next to me oh it was only the grace of God that it didn't collide with me it was only the grace of God oh my god it was so scary and I was like oh we just need to get home safely Jesus so there were a lot of speeding cars two in the morning it's just dumb ah we give God all the glory we give God all the glory. My braids are not as tight as they were. You know how they loosen up a little bit. I'm like, thank the Lord. I had all my scalp yesterday. And I used, what's it called? Castor oil. And I used too much because we were out. Delanda's like, you got some right here. And she went to wipe my face. And I'm like, oh, don't wipe. What is it? We got a pat. We got makeup on, girl. We got a pat. You don't wipe. And she said, it looks like oil. I was like, oh, it sure is oil. <laughs> not the oil dripping down the front of my head. How does that happen? Is it okay? Is it okay? And are we okay? I just want to make sure, you know, I just want to check the temperature of the room. Why, why are we doing this? Okay. And if you wanted to do that, you could have at least told me that this is the direction that we took because how? So anyway, I'm almost there and then we're going to go home and make it do what it do. But I feel so pretty. Oh, and I have this bag that I got from Etsy. It's cream. Although I'm wearing white and tan. I mean, it matches white and khaki. Yep. It's cream and it's from Etsy. I'll link everything below. Like I said, and yeah. Praise the Lord. Hi. I threw on this Amazon set that I've had for a while because I just want to go relaxed but really cute today, Avi. It's, I think, a medium. Thank God it still fits me. And I just got my purse. I'm just doing brown sandals, something simple, casual today. Casual was still cute. And then orange Amazon sunnies because why the hell not? Okay, get in, come get in there. Yeah. Oh, I love this look. Did you wear this at uh, Essence? I wore, I did. It looks familiar. It's I cute. I wore the, um, I wore this actually. Hey, come a little closer. Actually. Oh, all right. I love it. Oh. Yeah. Are you sure we don't look too opposite? I'm irritated. I mean, they're different, but it's still. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, okay we were off. We yesterday. I know. Okay, we're off. I said, girl, she sent in a voicemail, I holler. I'm like, I know. Okay, so I'm back I, to this order. I'm listening. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> I am here editing this content with you today. And next up on the agenda at my as you've so corporate quarters. Corporate quarters. Well, <laughs> no, as you so lovingly referred to it at the Airbnb. Yes. Okay. Yes, because it's tea time and no tea time. <laughs> And study hall. Study hall! Yes, we do study hall. I love it. Next up on the agenda, since we're taking it easy today, is a massage. I know you wanted to do a massage. What? <laughs> Where? Like, who are you doing this? Ah! Yeah, we're doing a massage. Where? When? How? Ah! Today? Ah! 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 Yes, 
so the massage is happening. Oh, that is exactly. It's happening today because you're leaving soon. And did you see me melt into this teacup? No, but I know you had mentioned it, and we were busy, so we didn't get to do oh, so today. Today, yeah. today, and um, I haven't had it in a long time. My body obviously is very sorry, but it doesn't matter. I'm oh, not okay. it. Hi. Okay. <clears throat> so. Oh my gosh. The massage is happening at twelve o'clock. So you have thirty minutes. Wait, we're do going somewhere. Do you have thirty minutes? Do you know you have that? You're on TikTok. I've never seen. Oh my god, it's a meme because of Flavor of Love. Oh, look. oh, okay. Anyway, the Friday, there was this again. reality show, one of the first first reality shows ages ago. It was so oh trashy. And this one character, or one person on there, her name was I Love New York. She was crazy, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and she was harassing everyone in the house. And when she want, they were all getting ready to go somewhere. And she was like, "Do you know you have thirty minutes?" And the girl was like, thirty minutes." She was, "Yeah, thirty minutes." But she was she was hazing them. That and now funny. it's now it's so all it's TikTok, thing. and people are like, "Are you doing have thirty okay, minutes?" Okay, so now I have thirty minutes. So you have thirty literally. Is it, have 30 the masseuse is coming here. We going somewhere. The masseuse is gonna come here. Hallelujah. He's, he's <laughs> able. And oh. To oh. And <laughs> oh, good. Okay, well, I already brushed my teeth. No, I'm gonna probably take me a shower. Yeah, I don't know. You, you might want to wash off whatever they put on you, or you might want to keep it on. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna shower after the massage. I might not want the oils that she uses. I don't know. Right. I'm just menopause. My armpits is like. Oh, okay. Right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm so Ooh. sweaty. Ooh. Yeah. Like, Ooh. Maybe I have menopause. Is that why I'm sweating like that? Oh, bless God. Uh, I mean, it could be. Uh, hello. <laughs> no, hello. 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 Is anybody there? Is that why my pants been there? acting like that? Well, how long has it been? Um, how, how long has it been? How long has it been pitting? I would say I don't know, but maybe this year has been a problem. I don't. I won't, wasn't paying attention to it, but the pits have been a problem for I would say this year. Hmm. I'm gonna Google it. That means. Ask Google. Not Google. Alexa. <laughs> I've got pit problems. What is going on? Mm. But yeah, she's gonna Definitely be looking at that because I mean, it probably is. Oh Lord, have mercy. Well, it's just the pits. It's just the pits, honey. They're overactive. Like right now, I feel fine, almost cold, but not my nose is cold, you know? Like I feel not fine, but my pits are a little right. moist. It's it's like that. It's annoying. My thing's much clammy right now. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, let me yeah. order this. 30 so minutes. She, she, do you think you have 30 minutes? 30 minutes. So I asked 30 exactly. Minutes. Okay, let, yes, let, me, let me order this. I'm literally doing 50 things in 50 seconds. Literally. Add to cart. Literally. I'm going to get the gray, I'm going to get the brown, and then I'm going to get. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's holding my car for 15 seconds? I've never seen that. Oh, is it because of certain delivery? Like if you want to get it by whatever day you have... I don't know. I don't know, let me hear you. Okay. I ordered the sheets oh, and it's at the door, so I need to get it. Oh, cute. Because you know you have to... So just so you know, you have to provide your own sheets. They bring the bench and they clean it and you provide the sheets. Wait a minute. So what's at the door? I ordered bed sheets. Just now? Yesterday. Cause on you know on Amazon you can choose when they deliver it for between four and eight a.m. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I had to come with that because I had originally scheduled it early this morning, but I wasn't ready. So, so you, it's it. not it's massage sheets or it's bed sheets. It's just bed sheets. And I you just tuck it in. You, well, you don't even tuck. You just let it hang. Cause oh, it's, it's, so that way you can use it again for your other bed. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I order queen, but I'll just keep it because now I'm going to be doing it once a month. So I'll just keep those sheets for the massage. So they bring the bench. Right. It's like a, it's like a workout bench. Yeah. Bear, you know, a yeah. bed. And then you provide your pillowcase and the sheets. Nice. So that you know, that's smart. Nasty old Hello, sheets. somebody. Yeah. Now, can you pick the same with Seuss? This your first time using it. My first time using it. I think you can. You can heart the person. I guess. Yeah. I will see. I think right. like a preferred. Right. Yeah, because you could even do preferred on DoorDash. Like I like this delivery person, but yeah, if I like her, then yeah. 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 Okay. Hello. Okay. Yes, honey. This is about to be epic. What? <laughs> what? Yes, and you got dirty hands. What? Okay, right. You know, there's always, if you want to record it. Yes. And I'll be here, so, but you know, when I had it in the hotel, I just had my camera on one place. So you don't have to do angles and stuff. And you're the one who is editing it, so you can edit, you know, when you're showing me naked or whatever. You know? Right, right, right. And they turn over, you got to see the go out. Right. One titty, two titty. <laughs> now, are you a stickler for, are you the kind of person who, when you get new sheets, you wash them first. Yeah. Okay. But you know, I'm not still no. Yeah, no, we gotta wash. I'll use it. You sure? Yeah. Cause we have we have thirty minutes. I can do it. I'm sure it's just as clean as any. Do you want you better wash yours? No. 
I don't know. That, that doesn't concern me. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Girl, don't put so many clothes on from Amazon. I know. Imagine washing all your clothes, but then they, they look at one end. I know. Like, what is this? I want to look brand new. Uh, uh, brand new? Brand new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfume risers. Do you think they're just called perfume risers? Clear. Where am I? Let okay. me type in perfume. Yeah. Perfume. Yeah. It should be there like that. Come on, sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me add to my list. Um, my massage. <laughs> get your, get your, get your massage. My massage in. account. Yes. That's one thing I promise. Bye. Yes.